G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going to be doing grading each AFL team's 2024 season, not including finals. I'm filming this in the finals week by, um, so before we get into the video, only 49.6 of you guys are subscribed to the channel, meaning 50.4% of you guys are not. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So starting off with the Adelaide Crows, they had a really mediocre season to be honest. Not really too good for standards of Adelaide after especially coming off a chance to win finals last year. Like who would have known? Who would have thought that Adelaide would have fallen from ninth from ninth or tenth last year all the way down towards fifteenth in the bottom four? They just played, in my opinion, a miserable miserable brand of brand of footy, to be honest, just missing out on um, 14th by about 10 points, so not really too much of a contest between Adelaide and the rest of the pack. West Coast was a, the closest one to them, to be honest, with 20 points, 20 points total. With, but Adelaide, they still had a pretty good season. Tex Walker had a really big name for himself, to be honest. Um, ben Keys as well. Rochelle did a decent season, to be honest. Didn't really hear his name too much this year. Um, so I've graded Adelaide Crows a D minus for 2024. Now for the Brisbane Lions, after coming from a grand final and them having a not really too good of a start as they wanted, they did a very, very good season, to be honest. Finishing, finishing fifth, um, they could generally try and go for the flag again if they wanted to, um, but who knows, if you want to know um, where I had Brisbane ending up in the finals, make sure to go um, watch my AFL 2024 finals predictions, um, so you guys can see that. Harris Andrews, great player. Um, but he, I don't think he actually made the All-Australian, to be honest. I, I, saw, I was watching the All-Australian. I don't even think he made the All-Australian side, which is absolutely shocking. But yeah, um, they played, Brisbane played a brilliant brand of footy, to be honest, and I'm going to go Brisbane with a grade of B. Now, Carlton, um, to be honest, if they had a decent finish towards their season, I actually would have rated them a little bit highly. Um, they really, realistically, they shouldn't have made finals, to be honest. I reckon Fremantle should have taken their spot. And Carlton, they just played, like, the first half, first half of the season, they were playing brilliant brand of footy, Carlton, flag contenders, definitely a chance to win the flag. And then in the second half of the year, they just fell off miserably, um, not really looking like a chance to make the A at some points, and not really looking like a chance to make the flag at the moment. I reckon they're going to go out in um, at least straight away in the semi. So because of that reason, to be honest, they, since they had a good start of the season, I'm going to give Carlton a grade of C. Now moving on to Collingwood. For Collingwood, after they were the grand, won the grand final, they were the premiers, they were expected to have a premiership hangover. And to be honest, it wasn't as bad as I thought. They still really, realistically, they should have competed well with the other sides. They just didn't really, didn't really. Um, if they were able to compete with other sides, they would have finished in the ad again. Um, but they weren't really able to compete with top eight sides, which is r one of the reasons why I've got their grade this low. Um, and they also was like fighting against teams like Essendon and stuff like that. Like, to be honest, those are wins that the Pies really should, realistically should have gone in. So I'm going to put Pies as a grade of D plus. Now moving on to Essendon, I mentioned them earlier. Um, Essendon, they had a poor, poor season of footy, to be honest. Um, nearly losing to West Coast earlier in the season and they won to West Coast by 30 points. Realistically, I reckon they should have won by more um, later on that season. Essendon, though, what else can we talk about? Then they're a finals contender for, um, like, they were, they were second on the ladder. They were second on the ladder in round 15 and now they are 11th on the ladder missed out on finals. Who would have known? Who would have thought? Um, Essendon, they just had a poor last couple of weeks of footy and this is why I've got them so low. I'm going to put Essendon at a grade of D minus. Now, Frio, after they played shocking in 2023, they definitely can't, in my opinion, risen up to expectations. Realistically, they should have made finals. I reckon they really should have made finals, to be honest. Um, but Eh, that's how it goes. That is how it goes. Fremantle, I'm going to put them as a C plus. They had a very, very, very good season, in my opinion, Fremantle. And next season, I reckon Flagmantle was on. Now, Cats. This is my first one that I'm going to put up there. Um, Cats, they had a very, very good season, to be honest. They've just been very, very consistent all season. Um, they've re they got the wins that they needed. They played very, very just great footy. 
for all 24 rounds. And that's why I got them so high. They definitely had a very, very strong ending to the season, obviously winning two West Coast by 93 points. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I got Geelong this high. So I've got, to go, I've got Geelong at a grade of A. Gold Coast Suns are a C minus for me. Gold Co if the Gold Coast won more away games, they would have made finals and they would have got a grade a little bit higher. They just were, they were just allergic to winning finals. They didn't win a, I mean, not winning finals, winning away games. Um, they didn't win an away game until round 22, I believe, which is just absolutely shameful. They realistically should have won games way before then, but Gold Coast just weren't able to do that. Gold Coast was just not able to do that. So that's why I've got Gold Coast at a grade of C minus. Alrighty, next up on my list is GWS Giants. Yet again, absolutely outstanding season, realistically. I reckon they should have probably finished second on the ladder. Unfortunately, did lose to um, the Western Bulldogs in the last round of the season by a whopping 30-something points or something, which realistically, I reckon they would have won if it wasn't so goddamn windy in Ballarat. But other than that, GWS, they had a great season overall. They've just been playing a very, very dangerous brand of footy. Their forward line is absolutely stacked and very, very dangerous. So every team that comes up against them, they need to watch out for that forward line. Darcy Jones is definitely a star in that forward line, as well as Brent Daniels and Jesse Hogan, who is your Coleman medalist for 2024. So I've got GWS with a grade of A+. plus. They've just been outstanding this season. Hawthorne, they get an A-. minus. Oh, who would have thought Hawthorne would have made finals from starting 0-5? <laughs> like Hawthorne, they had an outstanding season, winning 14 games out of the 23 they've played. They just played absolutely great, Hawthorne. And honestly, I'm actually kind of happy that Hawthorne haven't got into the final series after their very, very bad start. So that's why I've got Hawthorne as an A-. Melbourne, I've got one that's actually very, very low. Melbourne were expected to play a like way better brand of footy this season. I reckon some people, I reckon, I think some people were putting them up all the way into the top eight, towards the top eight or something. But who would have thought that these could have, could just probably, in my opinion, just missed out on making the bottom four. That is just shocking from the Ds and just so embarrassing. So that's why I've got the Demons at an E as well as they lost to West Coast by 30 something points. That is just shameful as like, just speaking about that is shameful. Now moving on to the North Melbourne Kangaroos. They had a very, very improved season to be honest. Um, yeah, very, very improved to be honest. Um, they got the same, they basically got the same result as how they did last season, but they did great. They did a good season, to be honest. So that's why I've got them in a D minus. Copy McKercher is definitely a star for them. Cheezel is currently still working his bum off every single week. Um, so yeah, Ruse, they're expected to rise in the next couple of years. Moving on to Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide, they've had a very, very good season. Yet again, second on the ladder, close to being minor premiers, unfortunately. They were just one win off from being the minor premiers. They've just had lots of lots of stars. They've just had lots of lots of stars. Zach Butters, an absolute star. Kona Rosie, absolute star. Jordan Sweet has stepped up in the last couple, last half of the season, to be honest. They have just been playing an absolutely amazing brand of footy power, and that's why I've got them in a B class. Richmond are my first bottom, bottom, very, very low grade. Richmond, what were we expecting? I'm shocked they even got, I'm shocked they got wins. They got two wins in 2024, and I'm shocked about that. Richmond, realistically, in my opinion, they should have won zero games this season. They played absolutely bad footy. They've just been playing bad footy all year, to be honest. Um, and that's why I've got them at F. They, but they, I do give them that. I'll do give them, I will give it to them. They have had injuries, bad injuries, but still realistically, they should be, like their VFL side should have stars. Like they should still have like very, very underrated players on their list. But turns out their players on their VFL team are just absolutely horrible. As we just saw, as we saw in a couple of rounds in the season, they just played absolutely bad. That's why I've got Richmond at F. St. Kilda for being 12th from the ladder. I wouldn't say this is too bad of a too bad of a grade to be honest. They've tried to end Carlton season, um, but unfortunately they didn't succeed with that. But St. Kilda, they've just had a very great season overall, beating the minor premiers by two points um, early in the season, which is very very good. yeah. To be honest, St. Kilda really do deserve this grade. That's why I've graded them as a C minus. They just played, in my opinion. 
Medium range, that's a very, very good game. That's a very, very good year for you for St Kilda. Now for Sydney, for my, for being the minor premiers, you would think I'd put them at an A plus, but Sydney did have probably a little bit of downfall moments um, during the year. Lost to Port Adelaide by 112 points and we lose. Then I lost to Sin goddamn Richmond at the start of the year, which that realistically they should have won that. They just had a little bit of poor spots during the year while GWS saved it. In my opinion, they, the GWS have been consistent all year. Sydney, I'm gonna put them at A. I'm gonna put Sydney at A. They had a decent season to be honest, and I reckon they're gonna do even better in 2025. Now moving on to the West Coast Eagles. West Coast Eagles, they've definitely improved. West Coast Eagles have definitely improved. Harley Reid and Jerry McGovern. Um, Waterman as well, they've been absolutely absolute stars this whole year. Unfortunately, Tom Barras is leaving the club at the end of the season. Um, at, like, at least that's what the rumours have been saying. So that's uh, unfortunate for Barras because um, generally I do see this West Coast side going far in the next couple of years. Um, West Coast, so they're on it for a rise at the moment. They've already improved heaps in my opinion and I reckon in the next couple of years they're going to improve even more and it's probably in the next six to seven years where they're gonna be back in finals. So that's why I've got West Coast at a D minus. Now final team on this list is the Western Bulldogs. I've got them in a B plus for being a finals team. Finishing six on the ladder, they've did, had a, played a decent game, a decent brand of footy. Same win, amount of wins as Hawthorne, so that just tells you why I've just put them in the B plus. But they did have some on and off times for Bulldogs. They weren't really too consistent over the over the season. So that's why I've got them at a B plus for Western Bulldogs. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.